footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you a preview of the GoDaddy.com Bowl between the Kent State Golden Flashes and the Arkansas State Red Wolves. Now let's take a look at some keys to victory for both teams starting with Kent State. When you look at Kent State in this ballgame, we know they're led by their outstanding tailback duo, Dre Archer and also Treyon Durham. Those guys can run on practically anybody in the country, but Dre Archer is the one that's special. He has that speed that can take it the distance. If you haven't seen him play, tune into this ballgame and watch Archer get loose. Now defensively for Kent State, they're going to have to stay physical at the point of attack with those wide receivers. you got to slow down the timing of Arkansas State's offense. And we know they're opportunistic back there in the secondary. If they can throw off the timing, they can have some opportunities to pick off passes from Ryan Applin. Now let's take a look at the Red Wolves in this ball game. They're coming in winners of seven straight ball games. So they're coming into this matchup red hot, up tempo style of offense. They're deadly with the running game as well with David Oku, but their quarterback, Ryan Applin has done an outstanding job throughout his career. One of the more decorated players in school history. They're gonna have to keep that up tempo style going frustrate that secondary of Kent State and that way they can have some success in mixing that ground game something that they've done all season long now defensively you look at Nathan Harrell one of the best linebackers on the roster they're going to have to make Spencer Keith beat them and that's the best way to beat Kent State slow down a running game make them and put them in those second and long third and long type of situations and that way you can have some success the defense also can't lose contained I've talked about it earlier Dree Archer has speed that is blinded you cannot lose contained versus this offense, otherwise it could be a long day. A key piece to Kent State's resurgence has been the offensive line. Brian Winters is one of the best tackle prospects in the country. Some have projected him to go maybe in the third or fourth round. Definitely has talent, 6'7", 3'10", keep an eye on him in this ball game. And Josh Jarbo, one of those guys that's very talented, hasn't really put it all together yet, but he still has the tools to be successful. Former Alabama recruit, keeping an eye on him as he may be one of those guys that could have a breakout game and be one that you want to keep an eye on throughout the rest of the scouting process. Before Josh Cribbs was putting up crazy numbers for the Cleveland Browns, he was putting up even more crazy numbers for Kent State. Over 10,000 career total yards of offense. He was a quarterback at Kent State. 83 total touchdowns, the definition of a dual threat player. Now for Arkansas State, Jonathan Adams played from 1998 to 2001, had back-to-back 1,000-yard -back seasons, and what makes him special is he was the first parade All-American in that school's history, had offers from all over the country, decided to stay close to home, go to Arkansas State to put the program on his back, did a great job throughout his career there. I like Arkansas State in this ball game. One thing that's underrated about the Red Wolves is how well they played defensively the last seven games in which they've won. And their offense does a great job of keeping the defense off balance. Just when you think they're throwing the football, they're actually going to run it downhill with David Oku. And I think that's going to be the reason why they win. Look for Oku to have a big day versus the Golden Flashes.